All right, all right, all right. What's up? What's going on, everybody? Hey, it's another Monday. What's up? It's your host with the most, the Kingdom Marketing Superman himself, Mr. Over Deliver, your Kingdom Marketing Mentor. And here I am, guys, you know, Christopher Harrell, founder of God's Masterpiece. And uh, I'm really excited to share with you guys this morning, the Monday morning motivation. It's gonna be really cool and awesome. So if you're ready for this, say, yeah, 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 we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Awesome, 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 guys. Cool topic today. Oh, I'm going to talk about for, for us to start our Monday, start our week off right. You know, I started doing these Monday morning motivational calls a couple of weeks back, and a lot of folks have been uh, giving me some great feedback behind it. So it's really awesome. So I'm excited. Really excited. I need to give me some water, but I'm really excited, guys. So let's do this. Let's dive right into this. And today, today's topic that I actually got from a dream, literally overnight. This morning I had a dream. And so I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, is, is this what you want me to talk about? You know, because I don't believe God gives you dreams just for yourself. And I, I said, and it kind of lined, lined up with something that I, last weekend, I was invited to do, do a keynote talk for a group. And I spoke about the power of a seed. If you attended that, that event online, you would know how powerful that talk was. I had like a 45, 50 minute talk, right? I talked about the power of a seed. Well, some reason this morning, God gave me this, this dream that fell right in line with what I'm going to talk about right now with you today to help you to achieve more this week. And so let me share with you uh, what I'm talking about, stewardship secrets. What do I mean by stewardship secrets? Now, here's the dream that I had, guys, and I'm, I'm and you're gonna hopefully you see yourself in this dream. For some reason, I had this dream this morning that I saw a bunch of peaches, right? It, it, it was a bunch of peach trees, which we will call an orchard, right? And I saw all these peaches and I saw all these peaches everywhere. And for some reason it was right next door to my home. And what was the crazy thing about it, it was my childhood home that I grew up in. And it was a neighbor next door and they had just tons of peaches growing, peach trees growing in their backyard, right? And, 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 and then in that dream, God led me to share something with the owner of that home. It, it, was, two, it, was, it was two brothers who was there. And, and here's the crazy thing about it. They had no interest in doing anything with those peaches. They wanted to do more with their life. They wasn't really fulfilled with their life. And they wanted to do more. And I saw those peaches. And now me, I love peaches. I don't know about you, but I love peaches. When I used to live in California, we lived next to a peach orchard. And in my younger days, <laughs> we were raised at Peach Orchard at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning. It was just tons of peaches, right? So I love peaches. I miss, that's one thing I do miss about California. I live in Texas now, but I miss California fruit. But they, didn't want, they, they were not doing anything with what was in their hands. And in my dream, I was led to share with them, I know you guys want to do more. I know you want to achieve more. But I said, but look in your backyard right now. Look what you have right now under your nose, the, the low-hanging fruit right now, literally, that you have right now. And what you need to do, you need to go and hire five or six laborers. And this is my dream. Hire five or six laborers. Have them gather all your current peaches right now and go off and sell them so they can benefit others. And then you can go out and get the resources from that to, to, to do the other things that you want to do. See, they their eyes was focused on doing something else. They wanted more, and they, but, but they did not see what was right there in their own backyard. Mm, I hope this is speaking to somebody. I hope this is speaking to you, right? I mean, they had this peaches galore. Now, I wanted those peaches. Now, and I told them this in the, in the dream. I said, dude, if I had just one of those trees, I would do so much with just one. I said, you have 20, 30, 40, 50 trees and don't want to do anything with it. I said, you have, you have not used what's in your hands right now. Mm. Yet your eyes are focused and want to do more. How many of you feel that same way right now? Maybe you have something right now in your hands that you're not leveraging, that you're not stewarding. I talk about this in my trainings a lot. Plus, I got another training called the 20 Kingdom Laws of Success. But if, you, if, you, if you're being part of the Money and Marketing Masterclass or 20 Kingdom Laws of Success, or even part of my God's masterpiece family, our mastermind community, you know I talk about the power of stewardship, which is a powerful kingdom principle that most people miss out on. 
Because why? You focus on what you don't have. And the stewardship says, what do, do you have right now? What's in your hands that you're not utilizing? What's in your hands right now that you are not leveraging? What's in your hands right now? What's in your own backyard that you are neglecting, yet you're asking God for more, yet you're seeking more, yet you're desiring more, but you're not even taking care of or using or leveraging what you have right now? Hallelujah. Mm. So ask yourself right now, Lord, what are you giving me? When, I, when, when, when we teach people how to take the current knowledge base inside the God's Masterpiece Rapid Success System, we show them how to monetize their knowledge and expertise. What they currently have, a lot of folks said, Chris, I don't know. Can I be a coach? Can I be a consultant? Can I do these things? I said, let's do this quick assessment and let me see where you are. And literally, I can take something that you have right now and offer it to a specific, a specific group of people and monetize it. That's one of the things we do inside the God's Masterpiece Rapid Success System. And it's taking, what do you have right now? What's in your hands? Because you just don't know what people will be willing to pay for until you try. Because you're focused on like, well, no, I'm not good enough. I don't know enough. Or I'm not a quote unquote guru. All this mess out there. You know, people out there messing with your mind, trying to fool you and tell you where you need who you need to be just to make more money from you. Really, it's all you're doing, right? But you are good enough right now. You know enough right now where you can create a business, right? And have people be willing to pay you for what you know right now by practicing powerful stewardship. So. Are you sleeping on a peach orchard right now, currently in your backyard? Do you have tons of peaches right now where, and here's the powerful thing about fruit. I'm gonna say this and we'll be done. Fruit is never for your own personal consumption. Mm. When you think about yourself only, you will never ever get the results you want. The powerful thing about fruit is fruit has seed and fruit has the fruit, but also it has a stem and has uh, 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 it has the core, all the different things, right? And it's never just for yourself. If seed is needed to be multiplied to produce more, the stem can be used for fertilizer to grow more. It's never just for your own personal consumption. So when you change your mindset and say, who else can I benefit? What, I, what do I have now? What do I know now? What am I not stewarding well right now? What am I neglecting right now? That's right in my current hands. Once you sit down and analyze yourself there, then you can begin to maximize and impact others that you've been asking God to do for you. And you begin to do it yourself. So if that spoke to you, let me know what stuck out to you in today's Monday Morning Motivation. What peach, what, are you sleeping on a bunch of peaches right now? Are you got orchards right now in your backyard you're sleeping on? If so, what areas are you neglecting right now that you know you need to maximize? So if you found this valuable, let me know. Type in the comments if you find this valuable. Let me know. I look forward to you guys this Wednesday for a brand new episode of the Kingdom Market Secrets Podcast as well. And stay tuned. Something big is coming in the month of June for you guys who seriously want to grow to the, go to the next level in your business as well. So again, guys, get your Monday started off right. Hope you appreciated this. Hope you valued this, my friend. Type in the comments right now what was most valuable to you. And I'm going to see you on the next time, my friend. Remember this. Put God first in all that you do, and you too shall succeed. Peace and God bless. Oh, yeah, don't get my book. Go get my book right now, Kingdom Affirmations. Go to kingdomaffirmations.com right now. I got a crazy new training on God's Masterpiece Academy.com. You want to go check out as well. All right, my friend. Peace and God bless.